Today we're talking about buses within Cakewalk by Bandlab. So we're not talking about buses that actually drive you somewhere and then drop you off. We're talking about buses in relation to audio, of course. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you what buses are, I'm gonna teach you why they're useful, and then I'm gonna teach you how to implement them in Cakewalk. So this information I'm giving you will work pretty much in any DAW, it's universal, so definitely take this information and put it in your knowledge bank, all right? So if you want to learn all this stuff, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about cakewalk buses. So the question is, what are buses? Well, if we wanna look at the real world example here, a bus basically carries something to a destination. It carries people. So in the audio world, instead of carrying people, a bus carries audio. So if you wanna look at a DAW here, our starting point here, this is a piano track here where my mouse is at, that is a track. So we can then route this piano track to a bus and then that bus can then carry the audio to either another bus or directly to our audio interface and then to the speakers. So basically look at it as a middleman that carries audio to a destination. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go over how buses are used in audio and then how to actually use them within Cakewalk by BandLab. And before we get to that, I do wanna mention I have a playlist popping up in the top right corner now Full of cakewalk training videos and these videos range from beginner to advanced so if you guys want to get better at using cakewalk here check out these videos after this tutorial all right so that being said let's actually get into why you use buses in audio production all right so there are two reasons why you use buses in audio production. So starting with the first reason, that is to create submixes. So what I mean by that is say you have a full drum mix. So you have, you know, however many instruments that are part of the kit, we'll say you got 12 tracks in there. So you want to essentially route all of those 12 tracks to one bus, and then you can actually do all of your processing on that bus at one time, and then affect the kit as a whole. Now that doesn't mean you just strictly do bus processing. You want to process all the individual tracks and then process the bus as a whole. But what this does is it allows you to get more of a cohesive sound by doing it that way. When you process stuff on the bus side of things, you're processing as a whole and you're getting more cohesiveness, all right? So that is reason number one. Now, the second reason is probably the most popular though. This is to actually use time-based effects. So buses are used for reverbs and delays. So if you asked me 10 years ago, if I thought putting reverb or delay directly on a track, if you should do that, I would say, no, that's an amateur thing. But I will say today, I'm seeing more people actually put these effects directly on tracks. Now they're doing it in a specific way and it's a little more tasteful, but I still personally like to use all of my effects on a bus. And we essentially call that an effects return, okay? so. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. And we're gonna basically use some reverb on a piano. And that's how I'm gonna give you an example of how to use a bus with reverb, okay? So those are the two reasons you use buses, to create submixes and for time-based effects returns, okay? So let's move on now to how you use buses within Cakewalk. All right, so how do we work with buses in Cakewalk? Well. Where are the buses located? I should have mentioned that earlier, but these are the buses right here on the right hand side where my mouse is at. You have your master bus, which is in here by default. That sends the audio to your audio interface and then to your speakers. And then your metronome is also considered a bus. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new bus for reverb. So if we right click in the open area here, we can do insert stereo bus. Now, if you're doing surround sound mixing, you also have access to surround bus, but we're not doing that. So we're gonna stick with insert stereo bus. Okay, so it comes in as bus C. Let's actually rename this to reverb. 
All right. So to actually add some reverb on a bus here, it's just like any other track where we want to put some FX on it. We're going to simply hit the plus button here. Then we're going to go to insert audio FX, and then you can go down to your reverb section here. But I actually have um, it already up here, the one I'm going to use. This is the Brevverb 2 from Cakewalk. And uh, I don't know, we'll just grab some room preset here. How about Bright Dream Room? We'll just use this preset. Okay, so we got our reverb selected. Now, the key now is we have to do some actual routing. So this is our piano track over here. So what we need to do is we need to send a copy of it to the bus. And to do that, we have to use, you guessed it, the sends right here. So if we hit the little plus button here, we get an option to send it to all these different places, but you'll see that reverb now shows up in here. So if we click reverb, now it's being sent to the reverb. So if I play this now, you're gonna actually hear the piano track and the reverb mix into it. Now, usually the default level zero here is way too loud, so we're gonna to have to turn it down, but let's actually play it now and we'll dial it in. So creating a bus and then routing to a bus is as simple as that. You simply create the bus over here by right clicking and then doing insert stereo bus. And then you go over to whatever track or tracks you want to route to it. And then you hit the plus button on the sends. And then you just find that particular bus in here. And then you turn up this little level button here of how much you want to send to it. And that is literally it. <laughs> So that is how simple it is to actually create and route to buses in Cakewalk. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And if you have any further questions on how to use buses, definitely drop a question in the comment section below. There are new tracks that were added to Cakewalk several years ago that opened up to different possibilities called aux tracks. And then we could do patch point routing also. So those are something I'm going to talk about in a separate tutorial. All right. So. Definitely, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know how many videos coming out. Until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.